Yeah, we'll now go on to the conclusion portion of our debate. Uh, we'll start with BYU and then Representative I don't get to go last. See, I don't actually have the material. I'm just responding to what he says. So. <laughs> uh, all right. In conclusion, I, I, I'm really glad we've been able to have this discussion. I think that a lot of what has been brought out today are important topics such as just underscoring things that we can do to make the world better. In the end, what I've come to in this debate is the idea that, that something could could be done and something should be done. Uh, in debater parlance, I'm proposing a counter plan. Uh, more or less, Mr. Friedrich is, is proposing that you know, here in America, this group of people we more or less eradicate the meat industry. Uh, maybe I'm parametricizing the, the debate too much by trying to take it into a policy option. But whenever we say someone ought to do something, we're applying policy, we're applying action. We're saying, okay, get up off your butts and do something. And I laud the fact that anyone is coming here and challenging us to do something. However, let's examine what we're being asked and challenged to do. Mr. Friedrich is asking us to become vegetarians, maybe even vegans, which I can see is not a bad thing in and of itself. I would like to have the virtue of self-control to live as a vegan. However, the policy that this implies is we're going to just drive meat industries out of business. We're going to say we're not going to eat meat anymore. We find your livelihood to be immoral. We think that as moral people, we are above patronizing your establishments. Whereas my counter plan is, let, let's not be extreme about this. Let's not say that we have to drive people out of business. Let's not get rid of segments of our economy. Let's not go about telling people that to be moral, they have to be like us. Let's say, you know what, there's a problem that exists in the world. Let's address it. <coughs> Just like we did in the banking industry. We said, well, maybe it wasn't a lot successful. I don't know, we'll see. But you know, what we did is we went to Congress, went to the President, and they said, okay, here are some rules the banking industry needs to play by. Or the insurance industry, another example of an abusive industry in the country. We passed some laws, I might get contentious here, but we passed some laws, at least trying, to regulate the insurance business and say, okay, you can't do things, you can't do rescissions, those are nasty. We're going to do away with pre-existing conditions, those are nasty. We, we, we proactively went after the industry and said, let's fix the problem that exists. Now, I don't see any reason why we can't do the same thing for the media. Uh, I think Bruce brings up a great point. He, he even challenged us to start close to home. He says, what can we do here at BYU, which I think is a better question than anyone that's been brought up. Instead of saying, what can we do about the world? Or what can we do about the United States? What can we do about where we are? The saying goes, uh, what is it? Think globally, act locally. I think his admonition to act locally is a great one. Let's look at where the meat's coming from on campus. You know, we, we got the oh yeah, school board grill, uh, teriyaki sticks. Want to eat their chicken? Chicken is like the nastiest thing. Yeah, <laughs> way it's reduced. So let's look, let's look at the businesses that we have on campus, the businesses that are being allowed on campus, and maybe something can be done about it. I think my counter plan is preferable to everyone just driving the meat industry out of business. The counter plan I'm proposing is let's do something more. Let's say, all right, we've got a vegetarian club. I think the president's name is Shelley. Although she's here, is she here? Shelley. Okay, I think we should come down and ask the debate and make an announcement so if anyone is interested can hook up with you. Okay. Okay, awesome. So we have Shelly here. Now, I'm not trying to tell her organization what to do, but I'm just saying a counter plan to what Bruce is proposing is Shelly and a group of motivated students say, you know what? We came here today and we learned something. We learned about the industry that is making the meat. We learned about the gross inefficiencies. We learned about the cruelty of the animals. And if you watch that video even more, it even talks about the nasty stuff that gets in your meat. You know that each state has a limit of how much pus can be in your milk? I would prefer no pus. <laughs> but you can all rest easy knowing there is a limit to how much pus can be in your milk in Utah. You know what I'm saying? Right? Not sure. He's telling me there's a limit in each state and it's different. So depending on where you live, you can eat more or less pus. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm in favor of the no pus option. But, but what I'm getting at not that here is there are things you can do, but they don't need to be So we can get together as soon as Say, look, let's do something about this. Let's see if we can pressure the establishments on campus to get their meat from a humane source. This is a plan that I think anyone can get behind. And even if you know you decide you don't want to be part of this movement, I think any of you can could support a movement like that. You can say, yes, I support our campus serving humane meat. Whereas I think most of us would have a lot harder time getting behind the agenda of it's immoral to eat meat, so let's not eat meat and drive the meat companies out of business. I just don't see that as a preferable solution. I'd like to address Bruce's response to my question about uh, leaders of our church. Now, once again, I'm not normally one who's harping for orthodoxy. 
But if there is one thing that I do like about the doctrine of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, it is that belief that we have leaders who are inspired of God. And that, of course, doesn't mean that we don't think on our own. It doesn't mean that we don't make our own decisions. But one thing that it is, is it is in our doctrine that we have a watchman on the tower. Someone to let us know if we are doing something that is horrible. And I do believe that if we were doing something that bad, it would say something. So in the end, I'm going to ask you to support the counterplan. Let's improve the industries, not eradicate.